So I discovered something kind of neat with Lightburn this morning uh, when I was working on my little image that I was using with the newsprint photo engraving. And I found out like, oh, I, I want to try the different image mode engraving styles. But, you know, I, switching back and forth, like, ah, so frustrating. But I discovered Lightburn has a secondary setting for all of your hierarchy cut settings. I will demonstrate. So you're here in Lightburn and you've got your image and you have your settings all pulled up like, oh, okay, the image mode, I want to try newsprint. And I got my DPI, I got my power settings all set up, beautiful. But let's say you want to have another image right beside it, it's the exact same one, but instead of the newsprint, you want to try you know, the Jarvis image mode. Well, as you can just see, I have two image modes, and one is the, you know, zero zero and the zero one settings. This is what is cool. This is also zero zero full black, and this is the zero one blue. But you can see I have an image version and a vector version, so I can have this and this are both zero zero. I guess I should put, yeah, so that these are arranged. So I got the fill mode and the image mode. I've got the line scoring, which is what I use that color for, and I have the image mode that also shares that zero one. So that way I can have, in my image mode, I can have this be engraved and this be treated as a photo like it should. This be treated as a cut line, and this be treated as a photo, as it should. Now, this one on the bottom is dithering, so it has a style, you know, with how it engraves a photo. And then the one on top has the dot style that newsprint uses. So this way, I can have two different image modes going and working out for me. That's because I have the two settings right here. So what I am going to do for my own personal library of stuff is have each one of my colors, at least for image mode, one of them be my newsprint image engraving, the other be my Jarvis one, the other be, you know, grayscale, whichever. The, the ones that I find that I like to use the most, which, as it so happens, I really only like. Jarvis, newsprint, and sometimes grayscale. Grayscale with a glass tube gets sort of wonky blurred results if you go very fast. So it is what it is. So um, yeah, no, I, I really uh, like that Lightburn does that. And if that works for you and tickles your fancy and lets you think of things to do with that, then cool, awesome. So enjoy Lightburn. Bye, laser peeps. Do stuff. Because it's awesome.